Let me tell you about something that you already know, and that is that everyone loves to go to Florida to bask in the tropical sun and to swim in the crystal blue waters. It is the place to be in the wintertime. It makes sense then that Florida is still growing, especially in the cities along the coastal shores and inland waterways. But while the key real estate has all been developed in those places, the secondary markets near those beaches and waterways are quickly growing. As land is getting scarce, especially in the central Florida area. But now we've got good news for you about new acreage just on the market. Developers and home builders seeking land on or near the Gulf of Mexico waters in Florida have to travel south on Interstate I-75 to get to the highest population density, which lies within the Tampa, St. Petersburg, Bradenton, and Sarasota geographic circle. Over 120 million tourists visited Florida in 2018, many of them looking for that affordable retirement location that is just perfect. If you want to develop in the Tampa Bay, St. Petersburg, Palmetto, or Ellington area, then we may have the property and the opportunity that you are looking for. How about in Ellington? Within a 30-minute drive from thriving coastal communities and just 45 minutes away from Sarasota in Ellington, there is an incredible parcel that has just readily come on the market, only four-tenths of a mile off of a major I-75 intersection. As you leave the intersection at I-75 in Ellington and turn left on 60th Avenue, you will pass the huge Ellington Outlet Mall, where one can go in and shop in stores such as Saks Fifth Avenue, Ralph Lauren, Michael Kors, Carter's, and of course, Starbucks. Drive the length of a football field further and you will see 18 acres of nature that happens to be for sale within walking distance of the shopping center. And if you're the developer, then feast your eyes on this oak forest. There is nothing anywhere to compare to this 18-acre tract of beautiful oak trees in Ellington, Florida. It has a Sunshine State location that is uniquely monetized. It only takes a minute after turning off from the highway to pass the outlet mall and sports complex, and there on the right-hand side is the Oaks of Ellington, just recently put onto the market for sale. It consists of 18 acres of oak trees that lie in between the commercial and housing developments. Here you can clearly see the green dotted line, how easy it would be for a resident in the Oaks to simply walk to the mall. The Oaks of Ellington is a beautiful piece of land. It is habituated mostly by beautiful oak trees. This makes this piece of property stand out from all of the others because once developed, it will look like a mature community. The buyers will not have to wait years to live in a lushly vegetated neighborhood which offers shade from the hot Florida sun, which, by the way, decreases the annual cost of air conditioning. To maximize this average yield, the easiest plan is to mimic that of the adjacent neighborhoods. One then could take the residential strip of land that was not deep enough for more housing lots and utilize that area for a retention pond. This would yield up to 39 units. Now is the time to jump in and offer an approach on how to monetize your community. How do you attract retirees such that they would spend more money for the same size house that exists in the other parts of the neighborhood? The answer is by giving them a vital life community solution that allows them to live longer for less money while being healthier than the average person that live in the other houses. The measure is shown on the graph for the last segment of living of their lives compared to that of the average person. The lower line on the graph is that of the average person while the top line represents the vital life person or couple that are living in a social confluence program. They would have more years of fun and function and less years of frailty and failure, both physical and mental. How can we promote that? The Oaks can help you to meet the vital life community's better living guidelines by planning the physical community so that it supports these activities with families and friends. Let's look and see what we need to do. First, live in walking distance to retail and dining opportunities. Second, have a place where we can go outside as often as possible and walk that 10,000 steps per day with neighbors 
that we need to do to keep healthy. And three, eat lunch outside after walking around and enjoying nature. Exercise outdoors using a program that stimulates all muscles and joints whenever we can. Social confluence is the interaction of people merging together, drawn by common values. In a Vital Life Community program, the key goals are to live longer, healthier, at a cost below that of the average populace. Now, how does this happen? Research shows that if at age 50 one employs maximum health prevention routines, that one can save up to one million or more dollars over the rest of their life cycle by not having to spend as much as the rest of the population in their later lifetime. This savings is created by avoiding the burden of preventable health care costs for the next 40 years. If the homes were more expensive, then a Vital Life Community Exercise Program complex could be built within the forest, which would attract more buyers. This would consist of a small clubhouse, a walking trail, and exercise stations throughout the oak forest. This fitness park would lie among the exceptional oak trees that were identified and saved, with the rest of the land being cleared for retention ponds. The removed oaks could be sold for timber. Also, with this program, buying and developing the adjacent property would allow those buyers to also have the benefit of a fitness park. Location, location, location. Easy access is the desire. As you can see, anyone living in the Oaks that wants to leave their neighborhood has easy access to the major cities around them. A 39 minute drive to Tampa or St. Petersburg, 13 minutes to downtown Bradenton, and two to seven minutes to Ellington and Palmetto, respectively. Those wishing to find out more about the Oaks at Ellington can contact us by using the email address shown on the screen, ellingtonoaks at gmail.com.